Hey YouTube, it's Earl. And tonight is a special pipe smoking video. Tonight, we're going to be opening a couple of boxes. Let's get to it. Well, I say tonight is a special night. I think it's really more of a special night for me than it will be for you guys because, well, I get to open the box and get to see all the things that I've ordered and received. Although one of the boxes that I'm opening up tonight, I got from a very special viewer and very generous and we'll hop into that. But first, let me show you some of my tobacco finds that I've had recently. Um, recently, and if you follow Martin on Over a Pipe, I've sent you there many times if you've watched my videos. Uh, he is well worth the subscribe because through him, I was able to find out that Cup of Joe's had a Germain drop. And so I got four Germain blends. Hopefully that focuses for you. Uh, that, that one is King Charles. So, never had that. Actually, I've never had any Germain blends. Throw that out of the way. Uh, next is Royal Jer Jersey, the original Latakia mixture. So, Latakia and Virginia tobaccos with red Cavendish. That'll be interesting. Look forward to that one. The next one is Cavendish in Virginia. Alright, so that is... Um, yeah, it's Royal Jersey Cavendish in Virginia, so I'm assuming that's just Cavendish in Virginia. And then lastly, one I think I'm looking most forward to, let's see if might have to do a special occasion smoke on this one, is Century. And from what I understand, they don't produce this one very often at all. Um, but it's got Cypriot Latakia, Dark Cavendish, uh, Oriental, and Virginia tobaccos, then laced with rum and wine wine and cellar to age. So I think that will be uh, quite, quite a, an experience to work my way through those. Don't know where I'll start. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm at Earl Pipes on Instagram as well. I posted a picture of those uh, a couple of days ago and um, so I'll be very excited to see what's going on there. And find out if I enjoy those blends. Next, uh, many of you probably got the email from smokingpipes.com. I hope you did. That they found some old Dunhill blends that had three years of age on them. And the one I got, because I am an English fan, is London Mixture. Okay, so I got me some London Mixture finally. Um, it's one of these that I hope STG brings back eventually, but um, we'll see. So I got myself three tins of London mixture. I'm really looking forward to that. I know Smoke GLP's uh, Westminster and Westminster is supposed to be a recreation, I believe, of this London mixture. So I'm excited to, to try that out and to see how that goes. Next, and this is where it's a lot. Sorry to be talking and I'm being off camera. I guess I can just put the box in my lap, huh, at this point. So, um, I ordered a pipe for a friend, uh, a, a good friend of mine, is actually a guy I uh, disciple, and um, he's growing up. He's a young 20-year-old man, and he's growing up and becoming uh, a man, and I bought him a pipe. Uh, even though he's going to turn 21 in November, I went ahead and bought him a pipe because just some of the things that he's going through, some of the things that he's doing, he's proven himself to be a man. So I bought him a pipe, and when I did, I took the liberty of also ordering me some bulk tobaccos that I wanted to try. First one, uh, this is a Peter Stokeby's blend. Let's see if you can see that. It'll focus. Probably won't focus. Uh, but it's Peter Stokeby's Luxury Twist Flake. It's very interesting. It's got a little bit of a, like a anise or a licorice type uh, topping on it. I actually smoked a bowl of that today. It's very good. Um, 
I've never tried many of the Stokeby blends, so I also got some luxury, luxury bullseye flake. Heard wonderful things about that. Then, from there, I keep telling you guys I don't like burly blends, but I've decided I'm gonna at least, if I'm gonna say I don't like burly blends, I'm gonna try the best ones around, or at least what all you old, old codgers say the best burly blends are. So, I've got one ounce of Old Joe Crans. Uh, I also have one ounce of Haunted Bookshop. Okay. I've got one ounce of Old Joe Crans White Label. And I've got one ounce of Old Joe Crans Red Label, which I believe is Joe Crans with, yep, with a lot of Kia. So, that's my box. That's what I've ordered for myself and gotten for myself lately. That's going to be a ton of tobacco to smoke through. Um, and I don't know exactly what I'm going to smoke through first. Starting there, there's a bunch of lovely blends. Want a bunch of lovely blends to, to kind of start and to, to try out there. But, as I mentioned, I also have another special box. I have, I have a what I would call a loyal viewer, and and would certainly uh, over the past year uh, has been a frequent commenter, and now I'd call him a friend and a brother. Actually, I think I would have called him that before. Just some of the comments that we've shared back and forth, um, they go a little bit further than just YouTube comments here or there. Um, but anyway, uh, his name is Takeo Kimura, or at least that's the way that his handle he goes by on um, on YouTube. And I may have mispronounced that, but I think I got it right. Takeo Kimura. Um, and I, it was a couple of videos back that uh, he commented that he just didn't like Latakia anymore. And, <laughs> and so I told him uh, you know, that he, he makes me cry every time I hear that because I love Latakia. And so he's like, well, hey, let me send you uh, something because I don't really care for it anymore, but I want you to try Syrian Latakia. And truth be known, I've only had Syrian Latakia once, maybe twice. Uh, I do have some of uh, McBaron's, uh, I think it was their HH Syrian blend. Um, but I only smoked a few bowls of that. But he said, I've got a special tobacco I'd love to send you. So I shot him my address and was thinking, you know, maybe I get, because um, he'd said he was going to throw in a couple of blends. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe one or two things. But you guys in the pipe community, you know, blow me away with your uh, generosity and a lot of things. But one of the first, the, the first one that he had told me he was going to send me is Former's 50th Anniversary Blend. And that that's got Syrian Latakia. It really doesn't tell me anything else on here other than it's made by Dan Pipe Tobacco. Excuse me, I just had a cicada laying right behind me. It's the end of cicada season here. They're, they're starting to die off, but they're kind of crazy. They fly all over the place uh, right, right before they die. So he sent me that, and this is just amazing in and of itself, right? That that he is sharing this tobacco with me. Very generous. But as I dig into the pouch, I also see you're probably not gonna be able to make that out, but here it is, and I'm guessing it's it's done like this because I believe it's opened, but it is a tin of punch uh, pipe tobacco. Okay. Uh, here is another blend that uh, I have not uh, acquired yet. I keep saying I'm going to do it, never do. Bingo slices. Okay. So we've got that. Then some La Gloria Cubana. All right. Got some of that. This is awesome. Uh, never had that one though, to tell the truth. But I'm sure it is awesome. Then, and some Stonehenge. I love Stonehenge Flake. I think this is great stuff. And so I appreciate this. Um, this is, so Takeo, we're both 
uh, LSU fans, you may not know this, but this is my victory tobacco. When I say victory tobacco, last year, every time I smoked this for my Tigers, while they were playing a the game, they won. I actually loaded two pipes for the national championship game and were, was smoking both of them at the same time when we made her come back. So, this bodes well for the Tigers. That's if they have a football season this year. Anyway, there we go. Then, then and this, this isn't even all, but <laughs> he sent me a pound of Ramback Balkan. Now, uh, truth be known, I've never heard of this. But that's okay. He explained to me in an email that um, what you do, and this is, yeah, Ramback Balkan, is it's, it is a, I'm guessing it's a Virginian Oriental tobacco, but mostly Oriental forward. And you add how much Latakia you want to this to make it a full bulk, Balkan blend. And that's really cool. So uh, I'm looking forward to looking into this more and, and kind of finding out uh, more about Ramback Balkan and everything. But he sent me a whole pound of it. A whole pound. Crazy. Okay. And then last but not least, and this is going to make a little bit more sense in just a second, he sent me some. My mixture 79. All right, so a nice classic drugstore blend that has that lovely, lovely licorice smell. That is if you like licorice smells. Um, so, and I reviewed this a while back. So you can look for that if you want to know what this is all about. But, so that was all the tobacco he sent me. Then the man... He's even more generous, okay? He sent to me, uh, there is a box here, and you may or may not be able to read this, but it says uh, 1947 Wally Frank Hawkbill, uh, probably late in a, and I'm guessing a late 1950s K. Woody. Now, so he sent me, as he said, he sent me a, uh, this is the K. Woody, okay. All right, nice. It's got beautiful grain on it. And you, you know, you kind of forget on these drugstore pipes back in the 50s and 60s. They're drugstore pipes, but man, I tell you what, they're way better than our drugstore pipes now. They, they knew how to make them, but this has got some beautiful birds on it. Just absolutely beautiful. Just. Uh, uh, a wonderful, beautiful pipe, and uh, thank you. Then next, the other one that I think, you know, this is a 70 or, at this point, 73-year-old pipe, is uh, a Wally Frank Hawkbill. Now, I don't know if this, the camera's picking this up, but it's got, it's sandblasted, and it's got some beautiful grain on this all the way around. It's an unusual looking pipe, but uh, man is it cool. It, what's unusual about it is just is um, you've got the, the 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 shank, right? That comes out here and so you think that would mean that your your drill line would come in, but they, they actually drilled it to the bottom of the of, of the bowl. Um, very interesting uh, little shape that uh, that they've done, but gosh, what, what an incredible thing! A 70-year-old pipe. Um, actually, it was made in 47. It's a year older than my dad, and that's just cool. The K. Woody pipe. The other thing I, I would tell you that I think's um, really cool is uh, many of I, I may have told y'all, and I know I have. Whew, that pipe's light too. Um, that my my great grandfather. On my dad's side was a um, was a was a pipe smoker, and uh, he he smoked a K. Woody, and he was one of these old school codgers who uh, never reamed his pipe and never cleaned it out. So his his bowls would just crack, but he didn't care. He just keep 
smoke in, in the pipe because the cake was so thick that he, he just didn't, he didn't care. It wasn't that big of a deal to him. So, but he, he smoked K. Woody pipes. So that's really cool. Anyway, guys, that's my video tonight. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to smoke first. I know it's a little bit unusual not to uh, have done uh, actually any smoking in a pipe smoking video. But, um, but I just kind of want to share with y'all some of the things I've gotten recently and my excitement around them and say thank you to, to K.O. I think it's really awesome uh, what he's done. I have no clue what I'm going to smoke first. Why don't you do me a favor, comment below what you would smoke first. Tell me a little bit about why. And um, till then, I'll see you guys around.